Several of our listeners have questions about education, and Judith wanted to ask specifically about what your plans are for schools. So do you believe that schools in Michigan are, they have what they need to succeed and to serve all students, including special needs students? Um, and do you think that schools are funded equitably? No, <laughs> and no, I, that's a simple, quick answer. Here's, here's what I know. M people from around the world used to come to our state for opportunity, right? You get a good job that paid you well enough you could raise a family on it and retire with dignity in the state. And no matter what community you called home, your kids were gonna have a phenomenal public school education. DPS was the finest school system in a state full of great schools. Right now though, because of years of neglect, because of years of underfunding, because of years of attacks on people who go into education, we are now last in the Midwest and we are bottom 10 in our country where we used to lead the world and it's unconscionable. And it's not right. We're all paying a price for schools that aren't getting our kids to a place where they are gonna be set up for success, where we've leveled the playing field for every child in the state, which is what education does and can do when it's done right. My mom taught in Lansing, my grandma taught in Waterford, my grandfather was a superintendent of Pontiac Public Schools. I'm a product of our public schools and I've got kids in our public schools. We are not doing right by our kids. So first and foremost, the question was, are we doing enough? Unequivocally, no. We've got to do better by our children and that means not punishing third graders who aren't literate. It means wrapping them around with the supports they need so every child is literate tripling the number of literacy coaches, having universal early childhood education so every child coming into kindergarten is ready to learn, and giving our, our, our heroes who go into public education the support that they need. We've got a, another crisis looming here in Michigan, and that is the fact that fewer and fewer people are going into education in the first place because our, the ranks of our teachers and parapros and um, counselors are just absolutely demoralized because of the continuous attacks and we've got to treat them with respect, make sure that there's not a, a teacher in the state that has to rely on the state for help to put money on, or put food on the table by, you know, signing up for the bridge card. Um, so we've got a lot of things to tackle, but it also includes a weighted foundation allowance, which I think goes to the heart of, of the part two of the question. Um, you know, study after study shows that kids in high poverty districts cost more to educate and we have to make a greater investment. Um, that means you know, more nurses and social workers, smaller class sizes, uh, literacy coaches, those wraparound supports that I was talking about. Our historical funding in Michigan, that we've got wealthy districts and we've got high poverty districts. In the high poverty districts, we're spending less to educate kids that we know we should actually be making a greater investment in. And so I don't wanna just move resources from one district to another. I wanna make a greater investment in our kids' schools by stopping the raids on the school aid fund. Just doing that alone, uh, you can get about $700 million annually back into our education system and um, having a, a weighted foundation allowance, which will help us make sure we've got the supports for kids in the higher poverty districts. Because that is, study after study, tells you that that is, needs to be the case. And I th don't think we need to study anymore. I think we gotta do right by our kids. Mm -hmm.